Okay. Anyway, I'd like to welcome everyone to our webinar tonight. I'm especially excited about this particular one because uh, we, we have an exciting business and one of the most thrilling things that there is is to be in business for yourself. I remember just first getting in this and just kind of thinking, wow, I have a business. I, I can go do something. And, and that, it's just very empowering. I think one of the big things that we all want to do is uh, – Take charge of our own life and control the shots. If you're ambitious and and uh, you can determine your worth and, and, and your value, that, that is a fun thing. And especially if you have a business where you can go make a difference, actually have something that, that matters. It, we, we've, we've got everything together. And I, I think maybe just to uh, kind of kick this off and, and put everything in perspective to, to justify even having a business you need a product. Think of any business that there is. There's some type of a, of a product or service that we offer. And if you look at the Nikan products, we really have some important products. And, and imagine an opportunity where you have something that everybody needs and virtually no one has, and they can only get it from you. That's, that's kind of fun. And uh, a lot of business is basically taking a product to a consumer. You know, if you don't have a product and you don't have consumer, uh, you know, what, what a concept. Uh, we got products and and we're looking for customers. <laughs> How about that? And, and and we have such an exciting story to tell when we when we share this with people and uh, what what happens. And so I to kick this off, uh, Karen is a friend who works with me. And if you've seen some of the changes in our webs and uh, just different graphic uh, illustrations and stuff, Karen is our is our resident artist. And just kind of becoming familiar with, with these products, uh, Karen. If you could, if you could share what uh, uh, you've talked to your mom, and so um, this passes the mom test. Uh, uh, first off, if you if you have something, would, would you want to share it with your mom? <laughs> and and sometimes moms are the hardest person to to share this with too. So sometimes they might be skeptical. But Karen, tell us a story about your mom. Okay, so um, this year on my mom's birthday, which was July 11th, um, I bought her a bunch of the products because I really wanted her to try them. Um, I was excited to be able to take care of her for once instead of her always taking care of me. And I just knew that they were, you know, going to be really great for her. And so... Um, I bought her the Vital Balance and um, the CM Cream and a Mag Duo and I think the 10-4. And, um, you know, I was just telling her this is going to be awesome. Use the CM Cream like twice a day on your hands because my mom has really bad rheumatoid arthritis um, in her hands and her feet. It's kind of in all of her joints, but it's really bad in her hands and her feet. And with her hands, um, it's just, it's so bad for the last like 15 years. She's just had um, insane amount of pain in her hands where she can't even grasp things sometimes. Um, and her hands are just gnarled and her knuckles are really swollen. And you can just tell, I mean, that it's red and painful and awful. And so I told her, use the CM cream on your hands twice a day and then use the mag duo at night while you're just watching tv or reading or whatever just rub the mag duo on your hands and um she's like okay i don't think it's gonna do anything and she didn't really want to do it and i had to call her like every day mom are you using the cm cream do you use the mag duo too and she's she would say yes yes i'm doing it and so after about a week of doing this, she noticed that her hands were starting to feel better. And um, after just like not even two weeks, she called me and said, oh my goodness, what is that CM cream? What is in there? And I said, I don't know. Cause at this point I didn't know what she was getting at, if she was mad at me or what. And um, she said, my hands feel better than they've felt in 20 years. And I just want to thank you for taking such good care of me. And that was so awesome. And so she uses it every day. She continues to use it. Um, she uses it on her knee. Um, my stepdad 
has bad knees. He played professional beach volleyball for years and his knees are just really bad and um, he uses it on his knees and it helps. And then um, a couple weeks ago, she called me while I was at work, which is something she never does. And she left me a message and said, I just want to tell you that I just dropped a 50 pound box of frozen meat on my toe. And so I thought immediately, I thought, oh my gosh, she's calling me from the emergency room, what's going on? And then she said, and I used the CM cream on it and it took the pain away enough that my toe could start to heal. And I called her like within the next couple of days. Well, I called her that day to check on her. And then I called her a couple of days later and she said that her toe was almost completely healed. And so she just wanted to thank me again for taking such good care of her. So it's pretty, it's pretty awesome to be able to take care of my mom for a change. <laughs> Oh, I appreciate you sharing. Wow, it's exciting to have products that make a difference. Uh, anyway, uh, Gary Bolton is kind of gone ahead as a pioneer, and he's done something that I think is really, really powerful. If you look at the network marketing concept overall, uh, and, and certainly when I first got into NECAN, when I saw this, I thought, I want to build an empire. I want to just really get out there and go and kind of my idea when I looked at it was basically that uh, if you want to play the game you got to be silver that's where you can maximize your bonus and I would still say if you want to be in the business uh, uh, go silver as soon as you can and uh, largely the rest of your career is, is teaching other people to go silver and then teaching those people to teach people how to go silver I'll turn the time over to Gary and just kind of tell your story Gary okay great uh, well I go back a little over two years ago, and I was a platinum that wasn't qualifying. And uh, I kept working and, and doing things and making presentations and, and going out with, with my group. And I had people dropping out, and it just, when I got paid at my pay rank, I'd have to buy the pay rank. I'd have to spend money either qualifying myself or qualifying someone else or both. And my background's in banking, and I kept saying there's, there's got to be something I can do to make this easier, easier for myself and easier for other people. And uh, so I, we just started, me and a couple other people, Jim Starnes, he's my mentor. We started talking and trying to come up with a plan of, of how we can get people to, uh, to get in a better check. And I think my aha moment came when my 12-year-old daughter came or then 12 year old daughter came in and she was carrying this flowery bag and she came in and said, daddy, do you like my bag? And I said, sure I do. It's beautiful. Where'd you get it? And she said, I got it at a party and that immediately my antennas went up. So I interrogated her pretty good. She, she got aggravated at me. I was asking her so many questions, but then about two weeks later she came in with a necklace and the same thing occurred. This necklace didn't have any precious or some precious stones, no precious or some precious uh, uh, metals in it. And she got that at a party. And I started grilling her about it. And she said, no, nobody asked anybody to join. They just showed us the products and then asked us to get out our credit card. And they took our orders. And then they delivered the products at a different time. So, uh, Personally, I started saying, well, I'm going to start doing that. When I go out, I'm going to start retailing the, the products, and I'm not going to try to look for business builders. So that's what I did. I started, and I would go out, and I would do the same things. I would, I would do the product presentations, but then when I got done, I would say, now, how many do you want? You want one or two of those? And I actually started getting orders. I remember uh, one of the first months, I had $600 in retail sales or 600 PV. Now, I was all excited over that. I, I was like, well, this is, this is proof that it, it'll work. So I started asking other people in the downline, and it took a couple of months, but finally one come on and another and said, yeah, let's, let's start doing this retail. And the thing about retail is that 25% is what you make on all your retail, is your retail profit. 
And that's not tied to any conversions. You don't have to convert that from CV to PV. It's just a straight 25%. It's actually the largest part of your part of your check. Uh, we decided that just like a baseball player, you know, he looks at his batting average, or if he's a pitcher, he looks at his ERA, that we were going to base our progress and base how well we were doing in the business going forward off of our check. Now, we realized we were in network marketing, so we divided it up, and we said, well, from this point forward, there's going to be two, uh, two things that we can get paid on. One of them is the networking side, which we know is, is where we go out and we introduce other people into the business, and we knew we'd be making 6% on that. And the other was the uh, marketing side, and we said, for that, we're going to use our PV as our uh, as our benchmark as far as how well we're doing and and we get paid based on that so we started working on those two elements in everybody's downline our PV first and then OV as we started to expand our businesses and like I say we started that two and a half years ago and we really felt like we were swimming against the current you know the the company was was still geared up for sponsoring new distributors and what we were doing was kind of a different but I haven't spent any money in over two years qualifying as a platinum and I've qualified every month as a platinum and when we started you know how you can go into your uh, into your uh, statistics in your mind can and we were looking at you can see what the compensation is on different levels well, we saw that compensation go from about eight hundred dollars up to over three thousand dollars in just a short period of time. So not only was my checks improving, or at least I wasn't having to spend money to get my check, but everybody else's was too. So, and again, it's it's really not much different. It, it's just that when we were going out and doing product presentations before, and everybody loves to do the product presentations. And we would be in the room with people and we would see them. They would be leaning forward in their chair and they'd be reaching for their wallet. They understood that we had a great product and we were, they were ready to buy that product. But then we, the minute we started talking about discounts and starting your own business, it was like they had to think about it. And we'd see them sit back and cross their arms and they'd say, well, let me think about that. So we made a conscious decision that we were not going to invite people into our business opportunity. We were only going to sponsor customers. Now, we know that to get to silver or to get to the top, you have to sponsor people. What we would do is if someone asked us about joining our business while we were out, we would give them a business card. We would, I, personally, I would always tell them the same thing. We're always looking for great people. Call me tomorrow. And if somebody called me tomorrow, great. I had a good prospect. If somebody didn't call me tomorrow, great. I hadn't wasted any time. So we move moving forward like that. We found out and and that people would present more when they didn't have to worry about doing the business presentation or didn't have to at least bring it up at least in the in the first uh, first in, first encounter. Uh, I think we had a shift to, and I told somebody this today, that before when I was going out, I felt like I was trying to get what I needed. And I felt like I needed more distributors in my downline. But when I shifted and started trying to serve the person in front of me and give them what they needed, then everything changed. Uh, I would go into someone's house and, and, you know, their feet would hurt. Well, we knew what to do. They had high cholesterol or high blood pressure. Well, we had we have some products that, that of course, have shown some, some great, uh, uh, we've, we've had some people that had life-changing experiences over some of those products. Or the bone health pack, if someone's suffering some osteoporosis. We stopped focusing on our need for distributors, and when we started focusing on what that person in front of us needed, then... I think that was really the turning point of, of how our business started to grow. Uh, if, if When I fast forward, uh, I looked at my numbers just so I could share it with you, and I share it to you 
not to brag about what has happened, but more to give you an idea of what's possible out there. Last year, January through October, no, all of last year, I sponsored 256 new customers into my Nikian business. Well, so far this year, I've sponsored 310. So we're getting better. Last year, my average retail sales was 2,279 PV per month. This year, it's up to 3,371. And over half of my PV now, since I've been doing this a couple of years, over half of it is repeat business from customers that signed up previously. Uh, we use Dave Johnson's, uh, uh, I called Dave a year ago and I, he put out this teach three to win to teach three to reach three. And he had the circles with a 500 PV that works great because it only takes you 12 people in your downline to reach silver. That's doing that 500 PV. Now we tell our people that the reason you want to get to silver is where you can get to that top, uh, compensation as far as on your marketing side, on your PV side. So it's very important that we get you there as quickly as we can. So, and the reason is, again, so your paycheck will be bigger. So everybody is really understanding that. Uh, I know this month, I don't know what the next three days are going to hold. We're already, personally, I'm already in the top five of my organizational volume all time. And we've got a real chance of breaking an organizational volume record. So, you know, if anybody's on my team, go team out there. Uh, you know, I, I love records. I, I, again, I'm a, I'm a banker by trade and a numbers guy, and I'm always looking at numbers. Uh, and moving forward, again, I, I think I mentioned earlier that I felt like I was swimming against the current with the changes that we've seen made, particularly the lowering in the cost, I'd like to share something with you that uh, this is Henry Ford, uh, a quote that he made. He said that every time I reduce the charge for our car by $1, I get 1,000 new buyers. Now, I look the numbers up because I, I, like, to, I like to put numbers behind anything. In 1913, Henry Ford's car sold for $600, which is about $20,000 in today's uh, money. But it sold for $600. He sold 168,000 cars. Well, Ford, he did uh, innovative things like the people that would deliver his boxes. He made them uh, uh, deliver the boxes to a certain size. It had to be so long and so deep and so uh so uh long and what ford did is he had his people actually take the boards off of these boxes and they were the full boards in his car so that he could save money so from 1913 when it, the car was selling for six hundred dollars he sold one hundred and sixty eight thousand. by 1916 three years later he had lowered the price of his car to 360 dollars and he sold seven times as many cars so can you imagine moving forward? Now we have the vital balance is going to be more affordable to more people. Can you, um, the, uh, the mattress toppers are already more affordable to more people. We, we've always had the products and, and quite frankly, I, I, we were doing well with the old price structure, but I realized that the laws of economics are in place just like, just like the laws of physics are in place. And when you lower your cost or, or I'm sorry, lower your prices, you're going to get more customers. So uh, it, it's just a matter of getting out there and talking to more people. There's, there's, there's no difference in what I do and what you do. Uh, I get no's still. Uh, you're going to get no's. The answer to that is talk to somebody else. I get people that make appointments with me that don't show up. Uh, you're going to get that too. But the answer to that is talk to somebody else. You're going to get people that are going to join your business and say they're going to do great things and then they're going to join your business and they're not going to do anything. I do that too. There's a simple solution to that. Talk to somebody else. Uh, if you focus on the other person's needs, okay, particularly when you're one-on-one, -on -one, I realize we're in a kind of a new economy with the internet and, and uh, 
there, there's a lot of ways to reach people at a faster pace today. The internet is, is the same though. Instead of focusing on an individual's needs, you just focus on needs and then the people will come to you. It's, it, it's not a matter of focusing on, on the product or focusing on, a, on a, a, what you personally need, but rather providing a need that other people have. Uh, Henry Ford, said, let me quote him one other time. He said that uh, a business absolutely devoted to service will have only one worry about profits they will be embarrassingly large now wouldn't you love to have embarrassingly large profits for yourself and for the company i i, I know i sure would uh but again uh it's it's not so different different what we do is just it there we just have a different target instead of targeting distributors we made a conscious effort to target customers and it's it's just paid off. I mean, uh, everyone that's done this that's in my downline, and that's that's not that many people. Uh, we've seen from two years ago, we've added about we went from zero in retail sales, or or I don't know of any retail sales that was going on over a little over two years ago. To today, we do about forty thousand a month in retail sales, and I know that doesn't sound like much. But that's ten thousand dollars extra in the in the paychecks of about ten or twelve people in in on my group. Uh, you can have you can build a diamond distributorship with a thousand distributors each doing a hundred dollars a month, or you can build a diamond distributorship with fifty people doing two thousand dollars a month. Uh, chances are you'll get paid more with the latter than you will the previous because more of the people will be in your pay level. I know I have money in my pay level I don't get paid on and I'd, I'd love to get paid on. Uh, so I have, I told you what I do every month today. I, I, I expect that to continue and to grow. I know that there are retailers in Nikan. That's pretty much all they do. And I know they do 20,000 a month. Well, twenty thousand a month in retail sales—that's a check for eight thousand six hundred dollars. I mean, that's a pretty significant number. Uh, I think ultimately, the one that's going to make the most money is is not the one that focuses on retail sales. Granted, you have to have some, but it's going to be people focused on uh, finding other people that want to do the retail sales. We made some mistakes going in. Uh, I'll tell you the biggest one we made is initially we started trying to teach people mechanism and we uh, most of us know from humans being more how important mechanism is in your results when we switched and just started teaching intention and our the intention we started teaching was 500 PV a month in retail sales then it, it, it was just different I, I have people in my downline to have MBAs in marketing. How in the world am I supposed to teach them how to market something? Or, or nurses or, or health professionals. The way and the mechanism in which they're going to market their product is going to be different from my own. I loved it in San Diego when, when uh, Molly Simpson got up and started talking about the parties that she'd been having and the success. I think she said that her her biggest party was 4,000 PV in sales. Holy cow, a lot of, most people don't do 4,000 PV. How, how'd you like to have 20 people in your downline doing 4,000 PV a month? That's 80,000 PV a month. Even at 6%, that's a pretty good check. So, and, and we heard the, uh, the young girl on uh, Team Kaizen, I can't remember her name, I'm so sorry, I, I get nervous and forget people's name, but I heard her say that just last week, she made a twenty-seven hundred dollar sale. Well, me being analytical, I got my phone out and looked it up, and that's about eleven, a little over eleven hundred dollars on a paycheck on one sale. Most people in Nikki don't make a thousand dollars in a month, and yet it's possible to do that. I, one of my top leaders in my group, he had a guy that signed up, called him up said, what is the fastest way for me to make $4,000 a month? I, I, I need to make that. 
And he told him, he said, well, the fastest way to make $4,000 a month is to sell $10,000 a month. If you sell $10,000 a month, you'll make $4,000 a month. I knew then that this guy got it. This guy understands it. So that's pretty much what we did is just, it wasn't anything great other than just changing our target. You know, instead of shooting at one target, we just started shooting at the other and it's really paid off for us, not only in the growth and the, and in our group, but also in the paychecks of these folks in the downline, which you, you, people start getting uh, a pretty good paycheck, then they're not ready to leave. They're ready to grow and they're ready to do more. So uh, I don't know. I don't know how long you want me to talk. So uh, I, I told somebody today, I didn't know if I could talk 30 minutes and they said, sure you can just open your mouth, start moving, moving it and you'll talk a long time. So uh, people are, lot, I'm getting a lot of calls. People are asking me about online and how to do things online. We're not doing anything online. I mean, there are so many ways to spread the word about Nikan online. You know, there's, there's YouTube, there's, there's Pinterest, there's, there's LinkedIn. There's, I mean, on and on. I, I heard, uh, uh, Bernadette McBurney talking about Craigslist. I think that's so underutilized. I, I came home after hearing Bernadette. I ran an ad on Craigslist, got two leads off of it the first day. Two leads. People I didn't know. In Colombia, South America, off Craigslist. It's just it's just incredible our reach that we have on the internet. Uh, uh, I think personally, I, I, when someone signs up, I want them going out with an A for two reasons. Number one, I want to work through their warm market, doing, doing preferably a 21 club. Okay. We want to work through that for two reasons. Number one, we want to get them some, some retail sales so that they'll get a check that first month. And number two, every time someone goes out with me and here's what I say about the products, then they're learning about the products too. And then they can go on and share that with the next person. And that's how your group grows is by having that ability to duplicate. Even if someone wants to get online, they need to go through that process of going out with someone that's familiar with the products so that they can hear it presented so that they can learn from that. Uh, usually when I'm going out with someone, I want them to explain to me what the person's need is. I, I teach folks that a sale is easy. All you have to do is crack the nut, N-U-T, and the first, the, it has to go in that order. The N stands for the need, and that's the need of the person you're presenting to. If you don't know that, you're not going to get a sale. And I want, if I'm going out with someone, I want them to already tell me what the need is. Now, I'm going to have a conversation if I go out with a person sitting in front of me and I'm going to sort of check out and make sure that's what the need is and satisfy myself that they've properly identified the need because very oftentimes we'll think their need is one thing and it'll actually be another. The you and nut is, is uh, urgency. If someone's got high cholesterol or, or high blood pressure or they got diabetic neuropathy, they are already urgent. So that that's not, it, it, with the products we sell, urgency is nothing you have to work with. It's already there. And the third one is trust. And if you are going out with someone they already know, they already trust that person. And we've got a 40-year-old company with a fantastic track record. And, and uh, I told somebody today, I maybe shouldn't have said it, but I said, you know, Meek In is kind of like God in that neither one of them makes any junk. You know, Nikin's products are great. God don't make no junk. Nikin don't make no junk. So moving forward, we in, if you if you go out and you have presented the product and you don't wind up with a sale, then you either have not properly identified the need of the person in front of you, or there's something about it he doesn't trust. And I teach that you just back up and you try to properly identify the need or you need to build more trust. Uh, I'll never forget Odman Berger did a presentation uh, in uh, France and I saw the video on YouTube or 
and he said that 63% of sales are made on the fifth encounter. So not always are you going to make a sale every time you go out there. It may not be that first time. It may be that second, or they may call you in the night. I know I loaned a water system to a lady one time, and I called her up, and she said, oh, no, I don't want it. Come get it. Well, I went and got it, and then uh, just a few days later, she called me back, and she said, oh, you got to bring me one of them water systems. And I said, well, what's wrong? She said, my little dogs won't drink the water no more. So you never know what's going to happen, you know, when you, uh, when you go out and do this. Uh, I know I, I've been walking in Walmart and have a complete stranger come up and, and hug me and say, oh, my God, you saved my husband's foot. I, I, I've never met her. I didn't know. Somebody just pointed me out to her. You're not going to do that if you're going out and selling soap powders. I mean, nobody's going to stop you crying and make you tear up in Walmart over that. So the thing I can say is, is make sure you know uh, what your goal is before you start, you know, uh, it's funny obstacles are those terrible things you see when you take your focus off your goal. So if, if you'll put your focus on the goal, though, you won't even notice those obstacles because you'll just be saying next, 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 who's next. How's that Dave? <laughs> Oh, that was fantastic, Gary. Um, we have somebody that had asked a question. What did your ad on Craigslist say? Uh, my ad on Craigslist just said that I was looking for a business partner in uh, Bogota, Colombia. Very simple. It was in English. Well, I did have some. Uh, uh, I had some requirements that I wanted down there. Uh, must be bilingual. You know, must be able to contact on Zoom. Uh, must have an internet connection and a computer, and that was about it. You know, I I, I have one already appointment to do a Zoom call uh, Friday, so you never know. And, and I got that from Bernadette McBurney, and when she was standing up there talking, uh, is, is something going to become of it? I don't know. But it sure has got my pulse rate up just thinking about what might come up. And a lot of times that's all you need is just excitement. Uh, if, if the person in front of you doesn't detect that excitement, I don't, I don't think, you, I think you're dead in the water anyway. You've got to get excited about what you're doing or you've got to get excitement, excited about what your goal is and, and keep that in mind. But I kept my, on that ad on Craigslist, I kept it very, very simple. Uh, most of the time I don't do PowerPoint presentations. I don't want people to think that this is a complicated business in the simpler weekend. I know I do business presentations on a piece of paper with a pencil. I mean, the simpler, the better. I want everybody. I'll, and I got this from Dave Johnson. I was sitting in Atlanta at a dinner table with you and I leaned over to you after a presentation. I was an executive and I said, you know, Watching you stand up there talk, you made everybody in the room feel like they could do what you're doing. And you looked at me and said, I worked really hard giving that impression. And I thought, then this guy's got something going on inside that head, you know. So I got that from you. You want to keep it simple. Oh, you want people to look at you and think, I, I could do that. Yeah. Uh, and, and also, you know, be, be attractive. You know, have people think, I'd like to do it with you. And, uh, so the most important magnet is yourself, and I, I love I love the direction we're going. That uh, uh, kind of do you lead with a business or do you lead with product? And I think that the answer in today's market right now is is just uh, lead with common sense. And I love what you're saying. Yeah, do, people do things for the reasons, and and I, I think some of the best distributors are going to be people that will buy the product first. Uh, they'll they'll know that it can be retailed because they bought it retail and it'll just move along in a very powerful way. So, and, and I love the idea of, of someone uh, starting uh, that could make a few hundred dollars a month right out the gate. So this is, this is an exciting time. Uh, what you've done is going to suddenly get even easier and I think we ought to go for it. And you know, some, some of the changes that we're experiencing, like uh, you don't get to count your own personal volume for, 
uh, rank advancement or uh, rank qualifications, things like that. Uh, it, it would be simpler if we could just not worry about that. And it's, uh, you know, thank you. Uh, some of these other companies that uh, have made uh, regulatory uh, stuff more difficult, but uh, welcome to the business world. And I, I talk to any business owner in any of the various uh, uh, businesses that you can be in, and we've still got it better than most business people. Uh, uh, conforming to regulations and headaches and hassles, uh, uh, it, it's almost nothing. Uh, if you talk to a regular business person and, and we says, well, man, I don't get to count my vault, they would laugh at you because the, the thousands of dollars, maybe some of their employees and, and all of that just to, to meet regulations, uh, um, we, we, we can do this. It's, it's not that big a deal. So um, play little games. Uh, big companies, they have to play lots of games and, and spend uh, sometimes millions of dollars to play their game. So uh, we, 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 can, we can do this. And, and with the offset of, of just everything all combined, it's it, it just so much better what we have today. So I think, I think we ought to go for it. <laughs> I do too. Yeah, I do too. I, I uh, uh, just like you said, it's uh, it's uh, it's a great opportunity. Uh, I mean, Henry Ford was seven times larger. If we just double, imagine the money that'll be out there for people to split up in their paychecks. I mean, how wonderful would that be? Well, I think we ought to go for it. And uh, Gary, thank you so much, Karen. I appreciate your story at the beginning and. Uh, Let's, let's all go uh, double our business. I, I, I looked at San Antonio. I just looked around. Uh, I don't know how many were there, over a 1,000. And what if everybody just brought one more uh, next year? And, and we did that every year. You know, that would be, that'd be double. Um, imagine doubling our business. And I, I experienced that one time when I first got into the Nikan business. I doubled my organization. I went out and sponsored my first person. Went from one to two. <laughs> so everybody got to go out and sponsor one person. So, hey, take care and thanks uh, for all, all that, uh, that you do and you're going to do. And everyone, uh, let's go and be like Gary. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>